Hey! 93.7 WBLK. Taking things to a supreme level. I bet you by golly I reign supreme. With the only night show that matters. Tell your mug and sit and ready. Let's go! DJ Supreme! Do your thing, Do your baby! Thing, baby. Do your thing. The People's Station 93.7 WBLK. DJ Supreme in here. And we have a special guest tonight. Introduce yourself, miss. Hey, what's up? It's your girl Maya in the building. What did Dancing with the Stars really do for your career? Did that introduce you to a different audience or people already yeah. knew? Yeah, you know, there were a lot of older folks in the demographic that watched the show. You know, my grandmother was a huge fan of the show, both of my grandmothers. And it opened the doors up for a brand new audience that didn't necessarily follow pop music or R&B music and the young culture. So, um, I'm a fan of theater. I think uh, a lot of the followers and viewers had an appreciation and admiration for theater as well. You put on Best of Me and people are guaranteed to dance. How does it feel, how does that feel to like have one of those legendary songs like that? Never looked at it like that. It is. It's coming from a DJ's point of view. Wow. You hear that? Tack, tack, tack. Da, 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 da. So, you know, it actually has a classic sample in there, and that was Trackmaster's production. Uh -huh. um, Jay Z's obviously on the song, and it's just one of those feel good joints. It has a 90s sound to it. Mm -hmm. um, I I don't know. It's a mid tempo song. It's not a crunk live song. But Were you expecting that when you made no, that song? Not at all. You know, those are the demo vocals on wow. <laughs> the record that they just kept. You know, there are other guys. And you're named after uh, Maya Angelou, correct? No, I'm not exactly sure where that came from, though it would have been an honor. But well, my father told me the story of how I got my name, and it came from the, uh, the word Mai. Okay. So this is my first daughter, and I'm going to name her Maya. Okay. I don't really get it, but that's his story. Okay, <laughs> really okay. Simple. Well, with that being said, it's Black History Month. Who's your favorite female in Black History? Wow, I think from an entertainment perspective, oh. Uh, one of the people that I looked up to in theatrical element would have to be Lena Horne. I remember seeing her in Stormy Weather and, and watching her class. Josephine Baker was another one. Um, they broke racial barriers and, and crossed many boundaries in entertainment and opened up the doors for those that are, that are here today. And they exuded class and style and poison grace. So I look up to those two. Absolutely. Do you think black history is important that people still learn that? Or? Well, you know, it's not always taught in schools, but <laughs> it's a month, and um, if we really want to get deep, you know, this country is, is built by African Americans, and um, I really don't want to go off tangent here. <laughs> no, you're good, you're good. That's but it is very important. Come on. It's very important, you know, to know exactly where all people come from at the end of the day. If we want to really speak about geography and history and graphic, take it back to the root of where man really evolved, and um, and things in America don't really begin to make sense anymore, and why is it black history, why is it white history, why is it segregated history, why is it mm. history just history, so it's the geography that, that determines the color of people's skin, which I think we've ignored and we've gotten used to so much that it's just a norm, but it is very important to understand where we come from beyond just America and, and where things originated from, that's more important to me. Hey! 93.7 WBLK, taking things to a supreme level. I bet you by golly I reign supreme. With the only night show that matters. Tell your mug and sit and ready. Let's go! DJ Supreme, do your thing, do your baby! Thing, baby. Thing, baby.